Republic has fallen and we are now an empire. So let's see what the empire mission sold for us. A new long time ago in the galaxy far far away sequence. <laughs> of course at first. Star Wars! Rise of the Empire! Ah, more reading. No. The Old Republic has fallen. Emperor Palpatine has created a new galaxy, uh, galactic empire that rule in its place. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, has taken command of the elite division of the troopers known as the 501st. Now known across the galaxy for as Vader's Fist, the 501st strike to establish order in the name of the Galactic Empire. On the once place, uh, peaceful planet of Naboo, the Empire ordered his newly armored stormtroopers to strive the seed of rebellion in a diplomatic manner benefiting the new empire. Yeah, stormtroopers and diplomatic. <laughs> of course. Okay. Naboo it is. Of course, safe. Yes, this is the actual time. Yeah. Imperial Diploma Diplomacy. The Queen of Naboo threatens the peace of a new order. She must be silent. Attack it. Okay. This thing is pretty straightforward, actually. During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change. A change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple. To infiltrate the city, take out their leader. Sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. Let's do it. These ones are pretty much... This one's looking the same, or the same looking as in Battle from 1. Except for this guy, actually. To the capital city of Feed. Tonight, we will be performing a radical destabilization of the Feed government by the elimination of that queen. She is heavily guarded in the central plaza by a group of Jedi and an auto turret grid. In order to defeat these defenses, we must set up a perimeter around the central plaza and shut down the auto turret grid. Careful, soldier. Your numbers are few, and the mission's success rests on your shoulders. Of course, it's always it's resting on my shoulders. Shit! So many of them, though. Ugh. God, I can do it, I can do it. There's two more health things left, though. Yes, much new shotgun. Team kill? What the hell? That was a team kill? Nah. Die! Finally! Whew, that was close. Okay, heal up. Uh, I didn't I didn't listen. What is my next objective? Huh. Apparently go to that thing. So let's try it. Oh my god, so many of them, eh? And sound box, of course. 
Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Watch out, soldier. The auto turret grid is still online. Keep you and your men out of the central plaza until we can find a way to shut down the turret grid. Well, don't want to run into that thing anyway. On the sides. On the sides. I'm behind you, man. <laughs> yeah, it's so dumb. That's kind of part of part of the game, actually. Dummy eye. I mean, look at that. She clearly is shooting next to me. He can't even hit me if he wanted to. Well, that was a long one. I think these, the new shotgun is more controllable, actually. It has a lower spread. So far, so good. Now, capture the guard post past the embassy. If you need some extra firepower, we've managed to sneak a tank for you at the embassy command post. Use it wisely. I don't need it. I'm better on foot. Well, I may need it too. Ah, shit. Uh, do it. Hack it, hack it, hack it, hack it. Shit. Okay, he's, he's ignoring me. That's, that's the trick too. Come on, guy. Die, yes. Uh, try it. Just try to get here. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, over in that corner where I'm, where I'm pointing right now. Now he must destroy the auto turret grid console, clearing access to the central plaza. Destroy it, and the queen will be ours. Shit. Um, for some reason, in this alley. When you play this on normal conquest mode, they always uh, group up there, and once you're searching for the last few people, always there. The Queen's personal Jedi bodyguards have broken from the palace. Destroy them. Destroy the Jedi. So many? Are you freaking serious? Get away from me! Don't get me, stupid Jedi's. Yes. Some more. Seems to be some Jedi Masters. Come on, come on, come on, come on. On my way. Oh, there's it. There's another one. Hi, my friend. What's up? Don't block my shots. Just die. Yes. Can't avoid your fate. Even if you try it. Hello? Behind ya? <laughs> royal guard are trying to escape. Quickly. You must eliminate the queen at all costs. Okay, try it. Three minutes. She's coming straight for me. So I think I might be able. Oh my god. Get away from me. Hi! Hello, Queen! Queen of Naboo! One more shot! No! She has just like 5% left! No! Shit! Yeah, she's not doing that good. Oh my god, that's so freaking damage! Uh. Fuck away from me. Okay, come on, one more shot. Basically one more shot. Try to sneak up from behind. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not, not that far. She's not that far. Die Jedi. Yes! You have performed a great service for the Empire. The Just ammo. <laughs> Victory! That queen is doing some serious damage, man. Not even a Jedi protector. 
Naboo quickly fell in line. It was the first time the 501st was called upon to adjust a planet's government. But it wouldn't be the last. Within months, the 501st gained a well-deserved reputation as Vader's Fist. Vader's Fist, as I, as I read to you. Next mission. Save, of course. Where are we? Mustafa! Preventive Masseurs. The separatist threat is staring again, lingering uh, the orbit over Mustafa. So let's attack it. So he is trying to assemble his own freaking droid army, and we're gonna kill him. Kick his butt. Although the Clone Wars were over, some people never seemed to get the message. The worst case of denial was Gizor Delso, a Geonosian separatist who'd somehow escaped Lord Vader's efforts to wipe out the remnants of the CIS. Lord Vader tracked him to Mustafa and brought us in to finish the job. It seemed like a simple enough mission, but when we saw the fleet of droid ships hovering over the planet, we suddenly realized that Delso's denial mechanisms were a little more dangerous than we'd imagined. Yes, they are. So, new ships, of course. Sir, the droids have landed on our ship. We can't launch our fighters. Calm down, pilot. Get out there and destroy that transport. Use any means necessary to clear the hangar. Um, this is the only mission, actually, or the only part of missions, where you're actually gonna fight Imperial against CIS, or SIC, or whatever. Droids. <laughs> Basically droids. So, it was pretty cool. Never happened in the movies, of course. So, yeah. Totally new to the franchise. And I also love the sorry idea about telling it from a clone perspective. Not just the Jedi and political perspective, but the clone uh, perspective. Alright, men. Now get into your Shit. fighters and give those droids all you've got. Destroy their fighters and bombers. Watch out for the asteroids, pilots. They're easy to destroy, but that doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. Leave the bomber to me. Yes, they are pretty easy to destroy. What's when? No. And uh, what's the wrong ship? Okay. Fire on flight deck. Ah. Clear down. Target. I'm gonna take him. Not in T1A thing. Yeah, TIE Fighter. I think these are the mission objectives. <sighs> yes, locked on. Die! What the fuck? Yes. Oh! Seven fighters remain. Oh, that's a bomber. Yes. Man, these ones are pretty hard to kill, but I don't stand much. Yes. More. Mm, locked on. Shit. Whoa. That's a crash. No! He hit me. Well, that's another one. Oh, well. <laughs> he didn't really. <clears throat> Shit, he didn't really want to live. Fuck this. I'm gonna take another one. Gonna take the other fighter. This one. Interceptor. This one is more anti. anti them. <laughs> As you guys saw. Uh, 